Hello everybody, I'm Jim McMahon and with me is Gorilla Metal. All right, Blood Bowl 2020 team leaks. We've got the old world alliance. This is a very special team. One of those combination teams you read about takes a little bit from all of the uh, alliance of good, as it were. Humans, dwarves, halflings, and that's it. <laughs> uh, Jim, uh, this, is a, this is a lot of words on one page. Walk <laughs> us through it. What do we got here for a Blood Bowl team? It's really, it's really weird. It's a really, really weird. It says tier one. It's definitely not tier one. It's such a weird team. Um, the rerolls are seventy k. So you, my, my starting build would have two rerolls. Um, you can have normal human linemen, just the same as normal human linemen. So that that's one thing. Then you've got the old world human thrower. Is like a human thrower, except he passes on a three plus instead of a two plus. And doesn't really want to pass to his dwarf and halfling teammates, which is fair enough. Right, the animosity, fair enough. Um, then you've got an old world human catcher, which is the same as a normal human catcher, and an old world human blitzer, who's slightly more expensive than a normal human blitzer, um, but otherwise the same. Then you, <laughs> the old world dwarf blockers are totally worse than the than the dwarf dwarf blockers. Um, they're more expensive, and instead of block and tackle, they've got armbar and brawler, and they've got loner three plus. So like, they're pretty hideous. Like <laughs> this is a pretty not not a great player. But on the other hand, he's still he's still armor ten plus. So you know he's still good to put on the line and get punched. The brawler is a little bit like having block. So like he's he's still he's not as good as a as a dwarf blocker but he's still yeah. probably worth his cost you know as, as bad as I he mean, is i mean blood bowl 2020 really has been hitting the dwarf team hard with the ban or the, excuse me the nerf hammer <laughs> so uh oh wait no i'm wrong that's very strange that the dwarves here are not walking gods <laughs> yeah it gave us all hope as well we, this this team came out before the dwarves and we all had hope the dwarves were nerfed no they're not <laughs> um, and then the runner, I think, is terrible because he's 5k extra um, than he used to be. And, he, 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 you know, he just, he's he got he's got loner, so he's pretty rubbish. Like, there's no point in him, so I would never take the Dwarf Runner. I would not take him. And then the Dwarf Blitzer, he's got loner, but at least he's got block. But it just seems so... Like, and then you've got the Troll Slayer, you know, he's he's 5k more expensive. Like, same as the Dwarf, only 5k more expensive than he used to be. He's got blocked. So the fact that these guys have got block or brawler makes their loner not so bad. And I guess the idea is to balance the fact they haven't got animosity, but really weird. And then they've got Halfling Hopefuls, which have animosity to humans as well as dwarves. Whereas the all the halfling hopefuls on a human team do not have animosity to human teammates, so <laughs> they've got they, so that's a little bit worse. But I mean they're otherwise the same. And then they can choose between an ogre and a tree man, and I would choose a tree man because he's stronger. Um, <laughs> movement two is a bit rubbish, but you can you've got timber, so your uh, your you know players can help them stand up. So. If you can stand him, like a tree is probably the big draw of the team, to be honest, actually. It's, that's probably what it is. Tree men on a team that isn't wood elves, I guess. Yeah, I mean, if you look at it as if you're basically playing a human team with a tree man, it's kind of cool. Yes. Yeah. I I, does your starting build even include any dwarves, Jim? Um, yeah, I, I, made a, I made a starting team, and it was um, one thrower, one human thrower, one human catcher. Um, one human blitzer, two dwarf blockers, uh, one dwarf blitzer, one dwarf troll slayer, one halfling hopeful, three human linemen, and then a tree man and two rerolls. So, all right, not bad. So you get a pretty good spread all all uh, up and down that roster. Uh, just yeah, it's a hard sell with the loner three plus on the dwarves. Yeah, that, but that's the thing, you know, like, they do like to make GFIs because they're slow, so that they get into situations where they have to make a GFI, so That that's a bit of a shame. At least it's a 3 plus loan and not a 4 plus anymore. Um, and you know, like a front line of two dwarf blockers, even if they're not proper dwarf blockers, a front line of two dwarf blockers and a tree man is, is a pretty formidable front line. Um, 
with a troll slayer, a blitzer, and a human like a dwarf blitzer, a troll slayer, and a human blitzer. That's almost like like just three blitzers. So that's not bad, is it? You've got the catcher, you've got the thrower. Actually, although I started by saying this is terrible, I genuinely don't think it's that bad now. Um, but oh, well, that's why we're here to talk you into playing teams in Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I genuinely don't think it's that bad. But um, the, my preferred so th that was the normal team that I came up with. Um, my other idea was just simply to have uh, 10 players, like 10 human linemen, uh, a tree man, and a halfling, <laughs> and then induce Morgan Thorg. <laughs> <laughs> and I well, think yeah, that would that, be pretty that good. Seems, uh, that might seem a little bit more um, efficient. <laughs> yeah, I think that could be the, I think that could be the thing, because, you know, they, they are, to all intents and purposes, a human team. So you could just have a human team and then you can min-max them differently by having something else other than <laughs> that humans couldn't, which in this case would be the tree, right? Which you just couldn't get otherwise. It would just be an ogre. Yeah. And uh, interesting, they only get the Old World Classic uh, special rules, so not getting access to some of the, the dwarf-specific uh, ones from whatever that rule is called. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I don't know what that is. World's Edge Super League, actually. God, yeah. I'm good. Yeah. God, I'm good. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's uh, yeah. They're, they're they're weird. I really don't think they're tier one, but after talking through it, they're almost like a human team, right? They've got three blitzers, they've got a thrower, they've got a catcher, they've got two blockers. It's it's not that bad, um, but the combination of lone and animosity is going to make it a bit uncomfortable but the tree man's pretty cool actually i mean i really do like tree man i think he's a pretty great player I th although take root can be really devastating uh you know the fact that you can piv pivot around the tree still push people into the tree and you can act you know you can pick him up when he falls down that's really good the fact that he's got timber makes yeah, him much better I really, than i've always liked the addition of the timber rule from the 2016 set glad it made its way into 2020 as well yeah i think that's a real real that that makes him so much better to be honest so much better than the wood elf tree Awesome. Well, that is the uh, Old World Alliance, I think. I can't tell anymore because you zoomed in. Yes, it is. <laughs> but that's your Blood Bowl 2020 league team uh, for right now. Uh, interesting stuff, this one. Like I said, it's a bit of a puzzler. Definitely worth experimenting with. Enjoy buying two of each box to try and build one, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is based on the positions were based on what was on the sprues, wasn't it? So yeah, a funny one from Games Workshop. Um, thanks very much, Gorilla Mezzo. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>